This is code.org, and we are headed to an array printer. Okay. Convert the wall loop to a for loop in the get numbers method. I'm going to click show me how. <laughs> All right. So let's talk. A for loop is. So let's talk. What does a for loop do? I'm actually going to go over here to explain it first. So to do that. Oh, is this going to break? Does this even do anything? Oh, no, that works right now. But I want to show it to you, right? So I'm going to copy over this complex stuff they got here. And I'm just going to throw it down right there. All right? And let me move this over. Cool. All right. So now, for int variable name. This is what we use for the counting. So usually in programming, the i is used for this. For now, I want to do index, just to be clear. So int index, and what is it equal to? Zero. This is identical to doing this. It's just so it's a, a for loop allows for like a package deal. It's nice and clean and we can have this all together for readability. This would be identical, just to be clear. All right, so we got an index of zero I would like to start. Now a condition. Now I don't mean like what's the condition outside, right? Is it raining? I mean, what's going to make this stop? When are you going to say, whoa, slow? And by slow, I mean stop. Right? And so the condition is often going to be something like when index is less than five or a better way to do this is to know the length of an array. So when index, if we are printing numbers, is less than numbers dot length. Regardless, it's just what we're counting to stop when you get to this amount. And then how are we changing it? I'd like to count up. So to do that, I'm going to say index equals whatever index used to be equal to plus one. Now, there's a lot of fancy ways for writing this, but what it's saying is, hey, whatever value index was before, it is changing. What is the new value? Now, I want to point out when I hit run the first time, index is zero the first time, no matter what. This is the next value for index. So no matter what, first time index is zero. We then go zoop, back up here, and it says, okay, index was zero, but this is done. This is only when we start does that run. Now, what is it? Index used to be zero, but index has a new value. What is its new value? It's old value plus one. So now index is one. Go through again. Okay, index now has a new value. What is it? It's old value. Well, it's one now plus one. What is that? Two. So now index is two. And it's going to keep going until we get to index is five. Because if index is five, five is not less than five, and this is over. All right. That's super brief way of explaining this. I'm now going to cut this and go over to where we need one. They asked for one where and get numbers. Oh, and they have a wall loop already here. Cool. I don't want to convert that because I'll have a typo somewhere, which is why I've made my own paste. All right. Index. Well, just like they, I don't need this anymore. Bam. Okay. Now, what do they want it less than? They want it less than numbers dot length. Okay. And now they're using index plus plus, guys. This is a fancy way of doing what I'm doing, which is index equals index plus one. I like how this is written because it's more clear to me. I find it more clear. Now, once you're a big fancy programmer, you got a job at Google and Facebook, buy me a boat. But other than that, go ahead and do this, right? And you could do it now if you really want to. I think this is more clear when learning. All right. Now, so that gets rid of this. What we're essentially doing is saying, throw that up here, right? And now all we need is this item. Result is going to be equal to what result used to be equal to plus whatever is at that index of our array. What's our array? Our array is numbers. Oh, cool. So we're just passing it. Yep. And guys, again, this result equals is the same thing as result equals result plus same idea all right i'll leave it that for how they had it for now but i just want to be clear cool all right that is all looking good did they already call this get numbers oh yeah they did because that's cool let's hit run hey it looks the exact same because we did it right for loops are really useful onward